ETN official here and today I'll be showing you how to film your 3DS with just a simple video camera, it can even be handheld, a tripod, and your DS. So here's the setup real quick, I have my pocket camera with a tripod shoved into a drawer because that's how I was able to do it. Maybe you'll have more space on a de desk and make the tripod work for you. You're going to want to make sure you don't need to move the DS while playing because it is critical that the DS stays still. You're also going to need some video editing software that I'll leave a link to in the description, which is completely free. Um, or any software that can do masking. And that's about it. There is no light, and all lights are off, and probably doors closed too in the room you're filming in. Thank you. Okay, so once you're on a computer, you're going to want to go to your main web browser. Down for me, it's Google Chrome, and download a hit film for Express, which will be in the description if you want to download it. Click Start Making Movies and follow the instructions from there to download it. From there, you're going to want to go to Google.com, search blank 3DS template. Um, blank 3ds system system template and you're just gonna want to find one you like I'm using this one and take it into a program such as paint I don't know can you guys see this okay take it into paint and just basically size it like this cut off the bottom completely and then Delete everything in the middle so that it's completely white space. Now you're going to save it and go into Hit Film. Create a new project and um, go to Start Compositing. And then you're going to add in your film by clicking Import and Finding It. And once you've done that, you're going to add in your template. And you're going to click your template and drag it to there. Once it's there, you can resize it a little, maybe, stuff like that, and push it there. Then, right on top of it, you're going to drag in your film, and you're going to click this square button, Rectangular Mask. And you are going to make it until you can only see gameplay of your game. And I know it's really blurry, I was using my backup camera, and I'm really sorry about that, guys. Um. Then once you have it, um, undo there. Um, once you have it, you can just click back to the click and drag tool. Um, wrong click and drag tool. The click and drag tool, and drag it and resize it to your liking until you're happy with how it is. And in my case, I'm not exactly happy with it, but I. What you can do is you can take the picture. Um, make that smaller, make, basically make the picture, um, fit the, make the picture fit the, um, the video, and I know I'm stumbling a bit, but I'm new to this too, so I just thought it was a great method I could show you guys. And basically, eventually, when you get it done, it will look like this, and you'll see the gameplay in there. Um, so I will come back when I have this done and sh show you guys the video. So after playing around with it for a while, I got it to work, and I just found that you, you have to play around with it. And once you get it, although it will look nicer than this for you, as long as you have a quality camera, my camera is, my backup camera is not good at all should look something like this. Mm -hmm. 
So clearly, guys, the example shown here is not quite ideal for what most people would want. But the reason I have it like this is because of my backup camera. And I think that if you guys are just using your regular camera, it will look a lot better than this. So use your good camera, have it done, and hopefully someday I'll get some gameplay footage out to you this way. I mean, it's going to take a lot of messing around, and I only spent 10 minutes on this one, but... I haven't perfected it, this method yet, and over time you'll perfect it and it'll look great. So, enjoy guys. Thanks for watching.